Many species of wildlife and plants come together to make up the American prairie ecosystem, and a large number of the animals that inhabit this part of the country are not found in the wild anywhere else in the world. Mammals like the American bison are well-known additions to this category, but species such as the pronghorn antelope are not often so widely appreciated. These animals evolved some 20 million years ago, making the species around 10 times older than the American bison. And yet, like the bison, pronghorn have remained relatively unaltered since their initial appearance in the fossil record. This species also remained undocumented for much longer than many other prairie-dwelling animals, avoiding official records until Lewis and Clark stumbled upon them in the early 1800s. Upon first glance, the pronghorn may have seemed indistinguishable physically from small deer to the explorers, but that is certainly not the case. For one thing, these animals have horns instead of antlers, much like their antelope cousins in Africa. Horns are hollow structures which do not shed, unlike the solid antlers of deer which fall off and regrow each season. Also unlike deer, the pronghorn antelope is one of the most amazing speedsters in the animal kingdom, claiming the title of the fastest land mammal over distance in North America in, as of now, the entire world. Mature pronghorn could run at speeds up to 65 miles per hour, fast enough to keep up with many cars on the highway. This ability is assisted by extremely strong leg and abdominal muscles, as well as a very light body weight of around 130 pounds. This speed is easily fast enough to beat out any other land predators in the prairie by more than 20 miles per hour, a massive and slightly unnecessary advantage. So why the need for so much speed? Scientists studying the fossil record in the American West have recently come up with a groundbreaking theory, that the pronghorn were once racing a species of American cheetah. Fossils of this ancient predator have been discovered in cave systems across the western U.S. from the time of the pronghorn's evolution to around 12,000 years ago. The reason for this creature's extinction may have been a result of climate change, but the two species likely participated in a tightly interwoven predator-prey relationship while they existed together. But pronghorn are not the best at every event in the Animal Olympics. While the look-alike mule deer are not as fast as pronghorn, these deer are capable of jumping over 12 feet in the air. Pronghorn, on the other hand, are so perfectly adapted for distance running that they can only jump 4 to 6 feet in the air. Now while this doesn't sound like a big deal when we are talking about an animal which lives on a prairie with almost no obstacles to leap over, Consider all the fences which are being used to separate property lines in the western part of the country. And capable of jumping over high fences, the pronghorn must either crawl under the fence or they simply cannot cross. This can lead to these animals becoming trapped in a certain area and dying of starvation or dehydration, or not being able to access key migration routes. However, Pronghorn populations in protected areas such as Yellowstone seem to be doing quite well. Recent data suggests that the number of pronghorn in the area is around 450 individuals, although sudden shifts in weather over the years can have huge effects on that number. In times with weather close to the average climate of the area, the pronghorn will usually enter breeding season during the months of July and August. Just like a bison herd, Bands of pronghorn usually include many females and a few males, which vie for dominance. Also like the bison, disputes over mating rights are usually settled through a clash of horns. The young pronghorn will not be born until the next spring, with females experiencing a nearly 10-month gestation period. Because offspring are produced so slowly, and life on the prairie is tough, 
it can take these mammals quite a long time to grow in population size. However, this is actually an evolutionary strategy, as there are very limited food resources available on a prairie, and less pronghorn in a habitat means that all living individuals are likely to be more fit and have a higher quality of life. Well everyone, I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and learned something new about the pronghorn antelope. Make sure to check out my social media pages using the links in the description, and subscribe to my channel for new wildlife content coming soon. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.